Welcome to another week here at the Tirolo Inn. We are going to actually lay some floor today. But before we can start on the floor, we actually have to do a little bit of more blocking on the outside, like I showed last week. And then also, uh, with all the rotten wood that was everywhere, I have a lot of junk just laying around on top of the floor right now. So just need to get that cleaned up, uh, put all the tools away that we really don't need and then get ready for laying the floor. on the other side so now hallway where we took put the beam up we have to add some blocking on this side so that we can put the floor and mount it all the way up to the side here Next thing on the agenda is laying down the floor. Rick agreed to come by and help me a little bit to put the floor down. It's just easier with two people. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna glue it and then nail it. The glue is really just to give us a little bit of extra stabilization long term. When something gets loose, the nails tend to make a squeaking noise. So I put a little bit of extra glue just so that, does that, that doesn't happen as easily.
boards off at the beginning and at the end is the reason for that is that we always want to end in the middle of a joist we don't want to end off somewhere in the middle here because the boards don't have a, a tongue and groove on the ends so that would mean when you stand right here it actually doesn't have anything supporting it so you always want to end in the middle of a joist and then it's also important you don't want to just do all of them the same exact way you want to stagger so my end piece here stops here versus the next one ends over here so I have a few feet a few joists where it staggers and it's not at the same joist it just gives the floor much more stability
here's the mount that we got done on Saturday three full layers of subflooring I'm pretty happy I will probably be able to finish it tomorrow in the afternoon so before we can finish up the flooring I have to add blocking at a few more spots over here out actually this is from the previous owner they obviously ran some heating and cooling or actually they only ran heating but the problem is when I talk to the HVAC guy for here the, the way we are gonna do it is actually we have a unit down in the basement that will do this floor and the basement and then we will have one unit up in the attic that will do the second floor plus the attic itself. So therefore we won't need any runs that go and span first floor to second floor. Not too bad for a few hours of work, I would say. You can see I haven't finished this section over here. I ran out of material, so I need to go and pick up more. Unfortunately, today is Easter Sunday, so I won't be able to pick up anything because everything is closed.
If you're wondering how big this room is, it is a total of four and a half of these sheets long. And each one of those sheets is eight foot long. So 36 feet in length. And then it is, you can see here 12 plus about three foot wide, maybe two and a half. So 15 and then over here another two feet. So that puts us at 17 feet wide. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.